I got a bunch of ellipses right here that I would like to fill with gradients. Watch what happens when, with all the ellipses selected, I will choose a gradient swatch. Illustrator adds gradients to each individual object and gives them individual gradient annotators that we can manipulate like we did in the previous video. But uh, there are limitations to this. For instance, since these are all separate gradients, we can't change the angle of all the gradients using the gradient tool. To do that, we should go to the gradient panel and make all the adjustments we want here so they are applied to all the selected gradients. In the next video, we will talk about using the gradient panel in greater detail, but for now, let's take a look at the other way of adding gradients across multiple objects. So with the object selected and with the gradient tool selected, I'm going to click and drag to add a single gradient to all the objects at once. You can also play around with holding down Alt or Option key on your keyboard while creating a gradient. When you do so, this intricate box appears with the number of dotted lines that corresponds with the number of objects currently selected. And as soon as I let go of the mouse, I will create, uh, in this case, nine different gradient annotators, one for each ellipse. So this is how you can apply gradients to multiple objects. It takes some time to get used to the process, but it's definitely worth the effort. So as promised, in the next video we'll take a look at using the gradient panel, so keep watching.